Hello, this is Professor Urbis White, and today we will talk about a method called determinant method to solve two-dimensional linear equations, which have only two variables in them. So let's go over the determinant method. Sometimes they call it Kramer's rule as well, so be familiar with that. I'll go over the uh, method first. The first step is you have to write both equations, so you have two equations, in ax plus by equals c form. So x and y on the left, the constant on the right. x and y on the left, the constant on the right. Now you specify, and it's easy to memorize this, a determinant called d, and that's going to be this one, the coefficients of x and coefficients of y, which is going to be a, d, B, E, A, D, B, E. Now, we are going to specify something called D sub X. That is another determinant. And this is how it works. Instead of X, what you do is you put your constant column, which is C, F, B, E. And since this goes with X, the X column is going to have the constant. With the same token, when I have d sub y, that means in the y column, I'm going to have the constant. So x column, so in the y column, I'm going to have the constant, which is cf, and the x column will stay the same. Now, x is going to be the division of dx over d, and y is going to be the division of dy over d. But since D is dividing, D cannot be 0. You cannot use this method if D is 0. Okay? Let's go and look at how I calculate a determinant, since I'm supposed to get uh, three determinants and figure them out. So if you have a two-dimensional determinant, 2 by 2, this is how you do it. You multiply these two. You write it here. And you subtract the multiplication of these two. It's like a cross multiplication. AE minus DB. Now that you know that, let's do an example. Okay, now I'm going to rearrange this so that I have AX plus BY equals C. Negative X plus Y equals negative 4. And this one is negative 2X plus Y equals negative 7. Now I'm going to write what d is, what dx is, and what dy is. d is going to have the coefficients of x and y. So it's negative 1, negative 2, 1, 1. So let's cross multiply this with that, that negative 1 minus this with that negative 2, which is the same as negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. So that's not 0, so I can't keep going. Now dx, on the other hand, what do I do? In the x column, I'm supposed to write the constant. So it's negative 4, negative 7, and y column stays the same. So let's write that, cross multiply, negative 4 minus 1 times negative 7, negative 7, which is the same as negative 4 plus 7, which is 3. Very good. Let's do the dy. And the x column stays as is. And instead of y column, I'm going to put the constant column. Now let's cross multiply. Negative 1 times negative 7, that's 7, minus. Negative 4 times negative 2, that's 8. 7 minus 8 is negative 1. So let's go write this down. x is dx over d, which happens to be 3 over 1, which is 3. And y is dy over d. And dy is negative 1. And the answer is negative 1. So you ended up with one solution, 3 comma negative 1, a consistent system. This ends, actually, the um, determinant section, so do not use this method.
when you have a determinant d equals zero and you'll be okay.